you also have two more types of layer that are even better. It actually gets even better than that. OK, I'm using Photoshop Extended. So let me get rid of that and concentrate on this pixel layer. Photoshop Extended, you have seen that I have a layer and it's called 3D. And I can actually make those layers. Now, it doesn't sound very exciting, especially for photographers, but it actually can be. So what I'm going to do is choose this layer and I'm going to go up to my 3D menu. Again, you will only have this if you have Photoshop Extended. But from there, I'm going to say New Mesh from Layer. A mesh is a 3D term and all it means is a shape. And then what I do is choose a shape. Now, the one that I chose previously, I think, was a sphere. But I've also tried it with a cylinder and it looks quite nice. So let's make a cylinder with this one. Now, I get a warning. It says you're about to create a 3D layer. Would you like to switch to the 3D workspace? Now, a workspace is the interface that you're working with. It's the panels that you have open. So I'll say yes to that. And what happens is it moves things around a little bit. But we're concerned with what's it done with my photo. Good grief. What's it done? Well, it's taken the view the pixels that were on that layer and it has wrapped those pixels around a 3D shape. So in here I can actually examine that shape. So I'm going to turn this round. Hopefully Connect won't freak out too badly. I'm going to turn that around so you can see it is actually my photo. Now why it's going dark is in 3D, to make something 3D, it's all to do with the light and the reflections. And we're actually going behind the object now. So the back of the object is going to be much darker. And I'm dragging it around. Eventually, we'll come around to the other side and you'll see the light come back on. So there is that cylinder. Now, I can do more than that. I can tilt it more so you can see the top of it. There's the top of my cylinder. So it's like having a poster wrapped up. If you wanted to have the effect of your image on a rolled up poster, that's how you can do it. You can also actually look at it from below. There is it from below. And the grid is representing the plane on your where you're working. So that is 3D for you. You've actually seen me create that one. But also in here is one I did earlier. So let me turn that one off and go and find the one I did earlier, which was exactly the same image, but this time it was a sphere. So I took exactly the same pixels, but I made it into what looks like a ball. A great effect for Christmas baubles or something like that. So it's exactly the same. You can see it's just a different type of shape, but if I do this, you can see I'm actually moving that around. So let me move it so you can see it. And you can zoom in and out up here. So if you want it further away or nearer to you, let's have it at the edge there. And you can rotate as well. So you can do all of that in 3D. Now, obviously, this is the kind of stuff that is only in Photoshop and only in Photoshop Extended. So when people say, what's the difference? Why on earth would I want Photoshop when I can get Pixelmator for £10.50? This is why. Pixelmator doesn't have anything like this at all. But if you don't want to do anything like this at all, then you don't need it. I'm just showing you that it is there because it is another type of layer. So it's a specific type of layer that you have in Photoshop. 